How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and Apple has just released iOS 17.4 beta 1 and in this video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this very first version of iOS 17.4 let's get started okay so first things first i want to make it very clear that this isn't yet an official release of ios 17.4 as i mentioned that's ios 17.4 beta 1 so this is just for developers or beta testers and of course if you want to you'll be able to run ios 17.4 today and i'm going to show you at the end of the video how you can do that all right now let me show you everything that's new starting off with new emojis so we have all those new emoji so we have this face like uh, going up and down as you can see left and right we have a phoenix which looks really good if you ask me we have this lime we have a chain breaking as you can see mushroom and we also have gender neutral depictions of families as you can see right here if we go ahead and open up our settings and scroll down just a bit until we see face id and passcode and we type in our lock screen passcode right and if we scroll down just a bit as you can see we have of course the stolen device protection that's a new feature released in ios 17.3 but we have something new here so if we tap on it that's a new option now we have the possibility of choosing to require the security delay only when you are away from familiar locations so that's the standard option or always so if you want to be a hundred percent super safe you can set this option for always so then there will always be the security delay no matter where you are if you don't know what the stolen device protection is what is this delay security thing guys this is an amazing new feature on the iPhone as I said introduced in iOS 17.3 that you must enable and start using right now this will literally protect your iPhone from thieves robbers this can actually save your life so I have a dedicated video on this feature specifically here on the channel I'll leave a card right here and link in the description so you can go ahead and learn everything about stolen device protection if we open up the music app as you can see right here we have a new name for listen now so now it's called home as you can see right here it's just home before in previous versions of ios 17 as you can see it was listen now as you can see right there top and bottom but keep in mind that there are no new features or anything like that it's just a change on the name itself another small change is right here in the app store so if you tap on it and then you tap on your profile picture right there as you can see right here we have a slight separation so now we have apps and purchase history before we used to just have purchased as you can see right here just purchased but now we have this little separation so as the name suggests apps will be all your apps that you have purchased or downloaded so all of the apps that you have installed on this iphone or on previous iphones and if you actually come back here and come back once again we have here purchase history and this will be for your in-app purchases and your subscriptions so this is pretty cool because now we have this separation on apps and on purchases that you have made as you can see right here for subscriptions and app purchases and things like that so they are separated and i think this makes a lot of sense so of course those little changes and tweaks are interesting right here in ios 17.4 but the whole point of this software update the most important thing about it has to do with the digital markets act in the european union you have probably seen this so because of this act Apple was actually forced to introduce a ton of changes here on the iPhone, especially in the App Store. Please keep in mind that everything that I'm going to talk about right here will only happen, will only be valid for European Union users. So if you are in the US, if you are in Brazil like me, if you are in Asia or Africa, no matter where you are, right, this will not apply to you. It will apply only and exclusively to European Union users, at least for now. Maybe all of this will come to us worldwide in the future. 
future. So with iOS 17.4, we'll be able to download apps from third party app marketplaces. So we won't be locked to the app store anymore. We'll be able to actually download third party marketplaces. So third party stores, like for example, Cydia, like for example, uh, marketplaces from other brands, other famous brands, other brands of smartphones. So we don't know yet, but in theory, we would be able to download apps straight from other stores. So again, not exclusive, locked to the app store so that's super cool and the same applies with payments so when downloading when getting those apps from third-party marketplaces the developers won't actually need to pay apple apple cut because apple has a huge commission right so then this could in theory bring the price of apps way down so that's super cool and even apps that are in the app store because of course european union users will continue downloading and getting apps from the app store they'll get a commission reduction. So then apps in theory will be cheaper in the app store as well for European Union users. We have much, much more like for example, support for non WebKit engines in web browsers. So as until now, uh, all web browsers, including Google Chrome, for example, they had to use WebKit. So they had to use the web engine of Safari. So then now they'll be able to use any web engine that they want. So that's super cool. On top of that, the very first time you open up Safari, as soon as you install iOS 17.4, you'll get a message asking if you want Safari to be the default browser or if you want Microsoft Edge or Brave or Firefox or Opera or Chrome or DuckDuckGo. So this is super cool as well. All of those changes, all of those changes across the board that are seen right here will only apply to European Union users. As I mentioned, that's why I can't show you anything like that. And it will give a lot of freedom and a lot of options to European Union users. We all hope this gets to all iPhones worldwide. But there is one thing that's actually worldwide. It has to do with streaming gaming apps, like for example, Nvidia GeForce Now or uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming Service. So the streaming uh, gaming services, right, uh, that we use to play games uh, uh, from the web, from the cloud. The thing is, Apple will stop reviewing game titles individually. They'll only now review the streaming app itself and then will be free to use all the games inside those platforms. So that's so, so good because very, very soon we'll see apps of all of the main streaming gaming apps right here on the iPhone because they will only need to actually get approval of the app itself and then all of the games, all of the catalog will be there for us to play, which now is what actually stops us from getting those apps on the iPhone. This last thing about streaming gaming apps, this is worldwide, so we're all gonna benefit from that. And that's iOS 17.4 beta one. This is only the first beta, right? We'll probably see iOS 17.4 on its final version only in March. But of course, if you like those new changes, if you wanna test it out, if you wanna be on the verge, of course you can go ahead and update to iOS 17.4 beta one right now. All you have to do is go to settings right here, and then you're gonna go to general, right there at the bottom, software update, and then you're gonna need to make sure that iOS developer beta right here on beta updates is actually enabled. So tap here and make sure it's actually enabled. If it's off, it won't show beta updates. If it's on, it will show beta updates. Please keep in mind that all betas do have problems, do have issues, so please pay attention and think this through before updating your iPhone to a beta version. Only do it if you really know what you're doing, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.